we have lots of chicks. So um, two of the ones that are roosting on there are my Silver Lake Invelders. The one on the end that is the end, well, let's see, over the, right there. She oh, is my um, X Checker Leghorn. And then I have two, oh boy, I don't know how to say their names. Hold on a second. I got to look that up again. They are um, Appenzeller Spitzhaben or some something like that. But they were surprise chickens. So believe it or not, when I ordered the Silver Lake Invelders, I got my eggs. And they sent a couple eggs in there. And so I thought they were all Silver Lake Invelders. And they do look very similar, except for the poofs on they you can see so she has a crest now on her head and the other one oh let's see also but you can't see it real good she's down there now but the crest didn't appear at first and so they looked very very similar and all of a sudden i noticed um recently the crest started appearing and i'm thinking oh there's one uh thinking okay are these silver Lake and Velders, or what are these? And so uh, I contacted the breeder and they said, oh no, we threw this other breed in there. So I ended up with two extra chicks and a breed that I've never had before. And I still, for the life of me, um, cannot pronounce it very well, but there's one. So these are some of, of my chicks. Then we have these two here, and these are my Pita Pinta hybrids. The white one is uh, a Leghorn Pita Pinta, and the dark one is a Samani Pita Pinta. And then here is another Leghorn Pita Pinta hybrid. And then underneath that they're hiding, there are two full Pita Pinta chicks that uh, are in here. Oh, there's one peeking out over there. And then, oh, I have more of the Pita Pinta chicks. They just hatched this past weekend. I pulled their heat plate out for a few minutes so you can see them, but here are the other chicks. Um, you see the one little tiny one right there. That one was the very last one to hatch. It hatched about 12 to 14 hours after the others. Um, I just left them all in the incubator and it had pipped, but made absolutely no progress. So um, I waited it out and it, um, as soon as that chick hatched, he, it was so much smaller than the others. So I pulled all the bigger babies out and put them in the brooder, left that one in for another about 12 hours till it dried. And as you can see, it is a lot smaller than the others, but it's doing very well eating, getting around, and it's fine. And funny if you notice, so this one right here is white and the others are all yellow, but as it gets older, they'll all end up looking the same, even though there is one white one in this group. But all together, we put eight in the incubator um, at lockdown and all eight hatched. So I was very, very happy with that. So I have eight full Pita Pinta um, chicks as well. Then we have these older chicks. They're out. Um, they're out on the back porch in my bigger brooder. And we have three Morans. We have one Exchequer um, Leghorn. And we have three opal leg bars, but these guys are bigger. Um, the X checker leghorn inside was also part of this group, but was so much smaller. So I moved that one inside with the Lake and Velders to make sure that um, she didn't get trampled and she could get enough food. So um, you, you can see these guys are enjoying their food. They'll be ready to go outside um, in probably another week or two, but they're in the outside brooder and they have their heat plate and a heat lamp out here and it really does stay really um, stays warm. So there's one of the Morans and we still have more. Then we have these two. So this is my death layer hybrid and you can see the pretty colors um, and then let's see behind her where is my other one? Hold on, she's hiding. Back there is my full death layer. That's Okara. That was my solo chick. 
there you can see ah of course Lux has to get in front of Okara every time but um, Okara is underneath there and um, you know they they come out during the day and you can see they're going to be in, integrating with the rest of the flock um, over on the other side they're very fascinated with them this is the first time that they've been outside um, you know right next to the other flock so um, they will still come in at night they're they're pretty much fully feathered um, and probably would be fine outside but I'm gonna wait another week or so and this is daddy of those two right there and we have whoop what are you doing bud we have the pita penta daddy right here what you doing not standing still we'll try from up here okay there you go but um this is daddy for the hybrid pita pintas inside and there's miss carmelita sporting her saddle um, she was molting and then with the mating um, started to leave her back bare and I found these saddles and they work excellent. So she was really the only one. I do have one other hen that started to lose some feathers on her back. So they are wearing the saddles, but everybody else is fine.